Today we're going to be taking a look at the best roof rack options available for your 2018 Kia Sorento. We have two installed right now. We have the Rhinorack Vortex Aero roof rack system on the front, and we have the Thule Aeroblade Edge system installed on the back. Let's go ahead and go over some of their features. Now, while both of these roof rack systems have a lot of similarities, like that they can both utilize T-Track accessories, there are some differences, so let's go ahead and focus on those. For one, with the Rhino Rack, it's going to be how it mounts up to the flush-mounted side rails. Now, while it does grip it, like the Thule, it utilizes pre-existing spots on the inside of the flush-mounted side rails, and that's going to be your points to attach it to on both the front and the rear. And with the Thule Airblade Edge, it grips around these lips on the outside and on the inside, so that gives it a little more freedom to go back and forth because it doesn't utilize those preordained points. So you can shift it back and forth to accommodate different crossbar spread widths depending on your accessories, or if you are making contact with the rear hatch with your accessory, you can shift it forward as well. Both of these systems feature locks. With the Rhino Rack, the lock does come included to secure your leg to the flush mounted side rails. However, the lock for your end cap here for your crossbar that is sold separately, which you can find on eTrailer.com. With the Thule one, however, while this is also sold separately, when you do lock it in place, both the roof rack system and whatever is in your T-Track are going to be secure to your roof, while with the Rhino Rack, you would have to purchase a separate lock for your T-Track accessory. One advantage the Rhino Rack has over the Thule is going to be the crossbar overhang in this particular case. You have more space to fit your bike racks, ski and snowboard carriers. In fact, you can actually get a longer bar, just as long as it doesn't go past your side mirror here, to store more accessories as well. With the Thule Aeroblade Edge, you actually lose a little bit of space because this goes slightly inward with this plastic piece here. So you're kind of limited to how many accessories you have and what type of accessories you can use. So while with the Rhinorack, you may be able to use two ski and snowboard carriers on either side. This, you're probably going to be limited to one. Also, with some of the cargo baskets out there, you may be limited a little bit with how much space is taken on the inside here. Between these two roof rack systems, the Rhinorack is going to be the taller of the two, meaning it's going to be taller coming off the actual flush mounted side rails. Now, that's something to consider when you have your cargo baskets or your bike racks installed while you're pulling it back into the garage because it may make contact with the roof. And the final difference between these two is going to be the carrying capacity for the bars. With the Rhino Racks having 176 pound capacity and the Thule's having 165. But you always want to go over with the recommendations with your vehicle's manual to make sure your roof can withstand those weights. So when deciding between these two roof rack systems for your Sorento, two things to keep in mind are, what am I going to be using this for? With the Thule, you're going to have a factory style sleek look to it once it's installed. So this is more of an aesthetic choice then the Thule Aeroblade Edge is probably for you. However, if you're going to be putting a lot of accessories onto your roof rack system, the Rhino Rack might be the right choice because it has more space to install those accessories with the T-Tracks. So in conclusion, between these two roof rack systems, I would more than likely go with the Thule just because of its adjustability back and forth and not having to go by the inside points to install it. Also, something to consider is that with Thule, you can get the different roof rack system that has the arrow bars that go out past that and attach the exact same way. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com and leave us a comment if you have any questions.